Today I'll be scraping the kneecaps of every single mob in Minecraft in order to steal their DNA. What am I going to do with the DNA? Something totally legal and not frowned upon by other doctors. Here's how it went. Bessie, why are you staring at me so weird? Wait, what the flip was that? What the? Did you just turn me into a cow? Also, why do I have a metal scraper and a glass syringe? Six and a half hours later. Okay, after talking with Bessie for a little bit, I have an idea of what's going on. So Bessie decided to turn me into one of her cow scientists. The only way to turn back to normal is by helping her collect the DNA of every single mob in Minecraft. I'll show you guys in just a second what we're going to be doing with the DNA. So in this chest, we have every single Minecraft mob that I'm going to steal their DNA from their toenails. First up, we have a cow. Now, every single DNA that I collect, I'm actually able to use, and eventually we're gonna be able to use all the DNAs in order to go to the end dimension and collect the DNA of the Ender Dragon. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna need to scrape your kneecap. So every single time you right-click with this metal scraper, it will collect the DNA of the mob. Come here, fake Bessie. Give me all the DNA. I am literally just scraping cells off of this cow. It does damage too, so I can just scrape it to death. <laughs> I'm literally the best doctor ever. Beck Pro Doctor is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope no actual doctors are watching today's video. So, now that we've scraped off some of the organic matter of the cow, we can go into Bessie's cell science lab. Uh, we've been doing a lot of calculations over here, as you can see. So, the first machine we need to put everything in is the cell analyzer. This will turn the organic matter that I just got from the kneecaps of the fake Bessie into cells. So, we can take these cells and we can move them over to the DNA extractor. That will turn the cells into DNA helix. As you can see, it says the gene of a cow, but the gene gene type is currently unknown. That's why we gotta go over to our next machine, the DNA decryptor. So this will tell us exactly what the gene type of the DNA is. So this one's just a basic gene, but what we're looking for is a non-basic gene. See, look like this one. This one says gene type eat grass. So every single mob in today's video has a different gene type. This one says milky. That's another super cool ability. And I think that's all the different abilities that we can get from a cow DNA. So now we can move over to the next one, the plasmid infuser. So let's say I wanted to gain the ability to eat grass. Well, I can just plop that DNA helix in there and it will slowly go over to the DNA plasmid. The DNA plasmid needs a certain amount of the different gene types. So I was able to clone this DNA helix of the cow with the eat grass type. And now it's all going to go into this plasmid, which needs 24 out of 24 of the gene types. I love it. I sound super smart like a doctor. And it's complete. Okay, so now we can take this DNA plasmid and we can go ahead and inject it into a syringe. Now, this is where it gets a little bit weird. So I need to hit myself with the syringe in order to collect some blood. This will be the sample. So I place the sample on the right side here. Oh, no, wait. First, I need to go ahead and purify my blood. So now that my blood is pure, I should be able to put it on the right side of the plasmid injector. We'll put the DNA plasmid of eat grass on the left side. And now the syringe is contaminated with the eat grass gene type. We need to purify it one more time. And now all we have to do is shift right click. We go blind because science. And now when I go outside, I should be able to right click and eat grass. <laughs> I am now a cow. This is so overpowered. I never have to eat anything else again, except for cookies. I will most certainly be eating cookies every single day for the rest of my life. Speaking of cookies, we did just get a brand new shipment of Beck Bro Jack cookies available only at beckbrojack.co in the description down below. The best part is that every single mob has a different type of special gene that I can steal and inject into my body for upgrades. Even the Ender Dragon too. So let's go ahead and we're gonna spawn in a Shep. What's up, Shep? I'm gonna have to scrape those toes of yours. Don't mind me, just gonna scrape Rodney's. Watch out, I'm just trying to scrape the, the, the sheep. I actually, I don't really know how I'm scraping it because technically it has a lot of wool. Like you're supposed to scrape off some sort of skin samples and you really don't need to kill the mob that you're scraping, but I'm the best doctor ever. So I'm just gonna put it out of its misery. <laughs> Why am I a terrible doctor? Plop the organic matter in there. We'll put the sheep cells in here to turn it into DNA. And we just discovered that a sheep has a gene type called woolly. So we've cloned that, and then we should be able to put this into a plasmid. Rodney, what are you doing down there? You got all my plasmids, boy. What else do you have in here? Rodney's just holding cells? He has dragon health crystals? All right, I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just gonna steal the plasmid because I'm actually kind of surprised that you don't have any of my cookies. We have the gene of woolly. Let's stick myself with a needle, purify my blood, inject myself with the DNA of a Shep, purify it again, and stab myself in the thigh with the needle. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we now have the woolly ability. The ability to just eat grass and get saturation is so overpowered. I'm just reading now that the woolly ability allows you to get sheared by other players. I am not doing that. Hello, Enderman. I'm just going to scrape just a little tad bit of DNA. Scrape him, scrape him, scrape him, scrape him, scrape him. I'm a doctor, sit still. I'm doing this for your health. It's for your health. Oh, he doesn't believe me. Oh, flip. Well, I collected 31 organic matter, so hopefully that's enough. We just got a more hearts gene type and also a teleport ability from the Enderman. Oh, would you look at that? Beckbro Doctor actually did it right. So it actually shows your abilities too. So the blood is now contaminated. We need to make sure that we purify it one final time. But we have eat grass ability, the woolly ability, teleport, and more hearts. Let's do it in three, two, one. Upgrade! What? Do you guys see my hearts? Wait, that's crazy. And wait, I can actually teleport? Let's steal the DNA of a bat. Oh, oh, why is it on my head? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's literally just on top of my head and I'm collecting all of its DNA. Well, that was a little bit unexpected, but it worked out great. I got 47 organic matter from that bat. Now let's do science. A little bit of science there. Put these science cells in this science uh, machine. Put this cool DNA into this science machine. Basic gene. Mob sight. Basic gene. Night vision. And we also got one that'll allow us to fly. We've done it. So now we have night vision, flight, and mob sight. I am getting stronger. Look at it, look at it, we can see Rodney being all suspicious over there, probably trying to figure out ways to break in and steal all my cookies. But outside, we can see the wolf pack. We can also see my dragons up there. This is kind of weird though, because it's not lighting up every single mob. It looks like only if they're a certain distance away, it lights up the mob. Actually, that's not even true because these dragons are right next to each other. And I also have night vision 24 seven. And I can still eat grass too. I need more. Ooh, let's try to steal the DNA of a blaze. Maybe then I can shoot fireballs. Blaze, sit still for your doctor's appointment. Appointment. It is I, Beck Road Doctor. I'm just gonna slice your kneecaps just a little bit. I'm just seeing if they work properly. Do not shoot fireballs at your doctor. That is not the doctor way. I will kick you out of my outdoor doctor office immediately. Mr. Blaze. Mr. Blaze. Oh my gosh, bro. My metal scraper's gonna break. I'm gonna start hitting him with my... Gosh darn it. Nah, it's cool. It's fine. I got 41 organic matter from you, Blaze. It's fine. I'll see you guys in five to 10 minutes when I go through this entire scientifical process. It worked. We're now fireproof and we can shoot fireballs. Three, two, one, inject into my toe. I don't know why it makes me blind every single time. Well, let's test out if I'm fireproof. I am. Look at that. I can just stand in the flames. Well, that's pretty cool. So if I'm holding out a Blaze Rod, I can shoot fireballs. Hey, Rodney, how's it going? Hi, hi. Oh my gosh. What have I done? Why is he on my face. Rodney, get off my face. Get off my head. Eat fireballs, Rodney. This is what you deserve. This is so overpowered. I can spam it. And back to eating grass. Bessie, you got any more scraper tools for the toenails and kneecaps? Okay, yes, she does. The next one I want to test is an iron golem. Uh, these things technically aren't like living creatures. Also, what the flip? Why did that not work? Okay, there we go. It was just slightly glitchy. I'm just going to take just a, just a little bit, just from the nose. All right, you just stare at- Oh my gosh, it just did so much of my damage. Stop, stop. It's going to be okay, buddy. It's going to be okay. Okay, if I stay at a, a nice solid distance like right here, it's fine. We're Okay, no, it's not okay. We're, we're literally, we're getting beaten up. I'm a doctor, dude. You can't beat up doctors. Well, I'm just going to take the organic matter that I collected, and I'm just going to be on my way. I'll see you later. Just make sure you schedule your appointment for maybe next uh, decade. All right, cool. Back to the science lab. The iron golem gave out more hearts, but we already have more hearts. So the best thing that we could get was regeneration four. That is just not even fair. And Bessie just told me that in order to get a little bit of extra strength, I need to steal the DNA from a polar bear. It's like gonna be okay, buddy. I know this is gonna sting for just two seconds, but it's gonna be worth it so I can steal your DNA. And please don't hurt me. Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. I have regen four, but it's really not helping a lot here. Let's try to eat some more grass. Stay back, stay, oh my gosh, I, I'm hitting him with the needle. I just pricked myself with the needle. Fireball, 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 when in doubt, fireball out. I also completely forgot to mention that I have the fly ability. I think I did mention it actually, but my brain just did not compute that I had access to it. That's fine. We're, okay, I feel kind of terrible about myself now. Let's go take out my guild on this dude. These do so much damage, what? Nah, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. I am slowly turning into a god. You should have just been a good little patient, buddy. Revenge is sweet, like cookies.
We'll put the polar bear DNA in. And look at that. We got the gene type of strength and also claws and step assist too. So we can walk up one blocks. Wait, the polar bear is actually kind of crazy. Let's see if this will work in three, two, one. I did it. I have strength. It looks like I can easily just go up one block areas. I can still eat grass, which is still my favorite ability by far. And we can test out my claws ability on a spooter. Hello, sp oh my gosh. Why do things love jumping on my head? I don't understand. Why are you killing me? Wait a second. Okay, I do four damage per punch. And I think the claws ability gives me a small chance to make mobs bleed. And by bleeding, I mean that they should just lose health over time. I don't know if it's an instant thing every single hit, but you saw that that thing had particle effects just a little bit. So look at it. Yeah, it has particle effects around it, so it should take even more damage. It actually did. It bled out. Wait a second. I literally have so many different abilities now. And this is all through the power of science. Collect some spooter DNA. Wait, did you just... Really? Can you just get off my head for two seconds? I don't I don't appreciate everything jumping on my head today. It's not, it's not really cool. It's not really... I will punch you. Or I will die. But it's fine. I win. I collected all your DNA. So the spider gave me a pretty unique ability. As you probably could have guessed, it allows me to now just climb up any surface. I don't know why I need that because I have the ability of a bat. So my body just floats and doesn't really have any gravity. We can also collect the DNA of a squid. Let me scrape you, squid. Let me scrape you. Ew, ew. Stop. Please go on my head. Please go on my head. Please go on my head. I will scrape you to death. This is not going to end well for you, squid. I will, I'm going to literally drag you out of the water until you drown. The squid gave me the ability to breathe underwater. Let's stick that back in my toe. Would you back up? I want to grab the DNA from a zombie. Maybe that'll turn me back to normal. And also, while we're at it, let's collect the DNA of a tiny little slime. Would you please stop jumping on my head? Don't even think about it. The zombie gave me a resistance ability, and the slime gave me something called slimy death. And the only way I think I can test it is if I die. Well, here goes nothing. And I forgot I can fly, so I take no vault damage. But we can spawn in a weird skeleton, and while it's killing me slowly, I can collect the DNA. That's right, be a good young little patient. And you can kill me now. Wait, what? Wait, I lived? Slimy death just makes me live? It's literally like a totem of undying? That's crazy. I say it doesn't work like infinite amount of times. Am I just invincible now? Well, I just, okay, no. So it only works one time. The wither skeleton gave me the ability to wither mobs. So every single mob that I punch, it'll get withered. We could test that on this ocelot who I need to collect the DNA of. Stop running, stop running, stop running. So yeah, look at it. I think I clawed it and oh, well, I did not mean to do that. It, it got withered and it also got the bleeding effect. So my hands now are way more deadly than any weapon. Okay, this is actually one of those scenarios where I'm okay with the cat being on my forehead. Don't worry, little kitty. I will let you live. Run away, be free, never come back and sit on my face again. We can also collect the DNA of a dog. Just a little bit. Just, just, a, just a tad bit of DNA. It's gonna be okay, little buddy. I'm gonna go take you to a nice little spot far, far away so you don't try to bite me. There you go, buddy. You be good. The wolf and the ocelot gave me no hunger, scare creepers, scare skeletons, and speed too. That is amazing. I am definitely faster. Let's see if skeletons are scared of me. Hello? Hi? Are you, are you scared of me? <laughs> it doesn't seem that scared of me. What about creepers? Oh, wait. This creeper definitely is scared of me. What's wrong, buddy? What's going on? You don't want to get a needle? You don't want to get scraped in the toe today? That's not my problem. Wait a second. Are they just... Oh, wait. Okay, so they still explode. I need to be careful about that. So after I initiate contact, they're going to come back and try to fight. But look at it. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. And he's dead. Let's also collect some DNA of skeleton. I guess I'm just scraping bones. So the skeleton gave me an ability called infinity, which normally goes on the bow as an enchantment, but now it's just a part of my body. As you can see, I only have one arrow somewhere, but I could just infinitely shoot this bow. And the creeper's ability is literally the same as a creeper. So if I were to die with more than five gunpowder in my inventory, I should explode. All right, we're, we're, we're gonna die soon. We're gonna, we're gonna, to yep, totally we're gonna die soon. This dude, yep. Just a little bit slower. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some grass in the meantime. Rodney, why is this dude taking so long? <laughs> I think I made this worse. He, he killed me, but I didn't explode. Well, I guess that works. We've collected pretty much every single mob DNA. And now we're going to use them all together in order to steal the DNA from the Ender Dragon and defeat it. Then maybe I'll get turned back to normal. Here we go. We have a couple different options for taking out the Ender Crystals. We could just explode them with blaze rods. That is using the DNA of a blaze. Or I could use my infinite bow and arrow. Thanks to the skeleton DNA. Now that all the end crystals are destroyed, we can attempt to scrape the DNA off of the Ender Dragon. Oh, he's going down for a landing. Or I guess 
because she's going down. Sorry, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Sorry, 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 sorry. Doctor, doctor's in session here. Doctor needs to get in here. Quick little appointment here. Thank you very much. I'm gonna use the rest of my scraper to scrape off all the beautiful DNA. There we go. We, we got 12. That should hopefully be enough. And now we can test out about how much damage I do just from punching. Punching actually does not do a lot. Slicing with my sword, however, definitely does a lot. And we can also, I guess, try to use this. Wait, wait a second. This is way quicker. You can just spam these. There's literally no risk. I can sit back here and just click as fast as possible. Oh, the Ender Dragon did not like that. Come on! It's working! I keep forgetting, too, that we can fly. The Ender Dragon has been defeated by the DNA of every single mob in the game. I don't care about the DNA. I don't care about the egg. I need to celebrate with some grass. Yeah, I got kind of hungry in there. But now we can head back and see exactly what the Ender Dragon DNA can let us do. So we have an ability called Ender Dragon Health, the flight ability, and Dragon's Breath. Let's go! And this is it, the final syringe with every single one of the mob abilities. Let's inject and test it out. So I should be able to shoot... <laughs> Dragon's breath. That is so cool. And wait a second. I remember Rodney had something earlier. The dragon health crystal. So I think I could use this with my dragon health ability. If I have a dragon health crystal in my inventory, it will absorb all the damage that I take. I am now practically invincible. Bessie also informed me that there's a way to mutate these abilities. So if you guys do want to see a part two where I mutate them and evolve the abilities, definitely drop a like. Hit that subscribe button so you guys do not miss out. Check out the merch at BeckBroDeck.co. I'll see you guys next time. BeckBro Doctor out.